every time there's a drive by in Kansas City because the Chiefs lose, mm-hmm. uh, now you know why. It's a show by Chris and Neil with all great movies. They are the real deal. We watch them all so you don't have to. It's movies that don't suck and some that do. Welcome, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, all the above, to a new episode of Movies That Don't Suck and Some Do. My name is Neil. And I'm Chris. And today we are bringing you two movies that are out there in the movie world for you to watch. Uh, first, we are going to be watching the one, or watching, reviewing the <laughs> one and only new Nicolas Cage movie that, you know, um, since Nick, Nicolas Cage is what? He's on the back end of not being around anymore, if I'm correct. Back in, well, he's back, not being around anymore. He's back on the back end of now paid off all his taxes so he can do whatever movie he wants to you now. <laughs> Oh, I I remember me hearing. I remember hearing that he said he was only going to do like four or five more movies, and he was out. I don't remember that, but it's possible. <laughs> oh, okay. Right. I thought I heard that somewhere, but maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> but uh, anyway, here's one of them that he that he did, and it's called Arcadian um, from Shutter. The Shutter platform yep. is where you can go find it. Mm-hmm. Uh, first starring the one and only Nicolas Cage. <laughs> This is the worst suicide attempt I've ever seen. You feel that pulse here? That's where you cut. And it's not across, it's down like so. Here, take it. I can't. What? I can't. Oh, I see. With all the poor people of this city who wanted only to live and were viciously murdered, you have the nerve! To sit here wanting to die and not go through with it? You make me sick! Take it! Take it! Yeah, yeah dude. Um, yeah! That, I love that part. Was it from, it's from Night Shift? Or what's it from? Yeah. Yeah, Night, Night, Shift. Shift. Night Shift. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, and then uh, also in this movie is the wonderful uh, Jaden Martell. Mom. Mom. Mm. That woman today at the grocery store, you didn't do anything to help her. I told you, it just wasn't our business. I think when someone hurts someone else, I, I think it is our business. Well, I know it seems that way, but there was nothing I could do. Yeah, Mom, if, if everybody did that, then there would be no one to look out for the people who just can't look out for themselves. So what should I have done? I didn't want things to get violent. Violence isn't the worst thing in the world. What is then? Apathy. From the Book of Henry. Not the Book of Eli, the Book of Henry. (laughs) Not the Book of Eli, though. And... Also, Maxwell Jenkins is in this movie. He's my friend. He helps us. He, he saved my life. And I thought that maybe... We could be friends too. Lost in space, right? Lost in space, the TV yeah, uh, series. You know, I told you, you know, do, do you just, there's only been like three ram editions of Lost in Space now. I think four. Real, real quick, I saw you sneeze off mic. Um, do you do do you do a series of sneezes like two or three at a time, or just one? Yes. Okay. I do two. <laughs> I usually do two. Like it's usually two, not not three or four. It's just usually it's okay. two. Like and it doesn't matter. Like and sometimes it will be like a long distance of time yeah. in between the first one and the second. One. Like a couple but seconds. But that second too. one is coming. If you see me sneezing once, the second one is following by. So, so all right, and dive behind the chair. Okay, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> I was gonna say dive behind the chair. 
<laughs> just hide, yeah. hide. Yeah. All right. And also in this movie is uh, Sadie uh, Soverall. Hey, Mr. Sterling. I'm Beatrix. And I'm probably going to sound like an asshole right now, but I'm literally your biggest fan. Probably shouldn't have said asshole in front of the headmistress. <laughs> Bollocks. Shit. What a winning streak, I see. Sorry. For all of it. It's just I've waited my whole life for this. To be here. I'm obsessed with this place. It's history. Your history. Noted. Perhaps you'd like to study that history in the library? I have work to do. Is that, is that from Little Bone Lodge or from Feet Jinx? I don't know what's wrong. She's, I don't know where she's from, honestly. So she's English, so it's like all this different shit that I just don't really recognize. You know what I mean? You looking? Say that again. Where's that from? Oh, that is from E. Uh, it's a uh, The Wink Saga. It's a okay. uh, it's a it's a show. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. Cool. Um, and that's uh, all the people that we're talking about when it comes to Arcadian. Yeah. Well, no, we'll talk about the entire cast, not just those four. Okay. But okay. still, <laughs> <laughs> you said that's all the people we're going to talk about. We're only going to talk about those four people yeah, they, in no that else movie, and that's yeah, yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. So I can't wait to get talk about that. That is Shutter's Arcania that we're doing. The second movie that we are doing this week is the one and uh, the new uh, movie at the box office uh, mm-hmm. the last week, uh, starring the one, it's called The Blink Twice, starring the one and only Channing Tatum. No, no, not if you're in the house. I've Googled this. Do you want to know how it works? Yeah? You come inside and I defend myself. Now, I'm not going to pump six bullets into you. No, no, that would make me look crazy and kind of, you know, out of control. No, I'm going to pump three into you. Like a calm gun owner would. Zip. I came here with the intent and only the intent of getting my camera back. Oh, yeah. You, your camera? Come on inside. If you just want your camera, it's right here. Hey, listen to me. I, I, I can really appreciate the fact that things got completely nuts the other night. And I can also appreciate that a lot of your property... I, I, I appreciate the fact that a lot of your property got damaged as well. You killed my fish. You killed my fish, man. Why would you do that? Not his fish. So, uh, real quick, I see what you did there. You picked the pick where he talks about his camera and changed him as a camera. In the fu- yeah, that that... That's, yeah. that's smart, dude. There you go, man. Way to go. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. it's like it's like Neil puts thought <laughs> into this stuff. All right. It's well, weird. <laughs> never thought. <laughs> you never thought it, huh? You're like, what? Uh, uh, Naomi Aki's in this movie as well. No damn time. No, I'm not cleaning this shit up. Uh-uh. Love it. No, I'm fine. Smash everything. It's all crap anyway. Oh, I hate you so much right now. Yeah? Speak up, Rob. I can't hear you. You know what? You know what? Hey, not the vacuum cleaner. You crazy? No, think about it. How we gonna clean this place up? You crazy, Ryder. You crazy. Yeah? So that's it. Just like that. I want a family. A husband. Kids. Faith and family. I love you. We, we love each other. What, 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 right? Huh? And the Bible says, oh my God, no, 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 no. The, the Bible says, Bible. no, we can go to hell with this kind of, I don't want to go to hell. Yeah, well, I'm not in such a hurry myself. Yeah, well, look it up. Yeah, so that's the name of you playing the late Whitney Houston. Yeah, I want to answer somebody. That movie. I know. Remember how you didn't, you didn't want to cover that movie? I think we had something else to cover that week. No, no, no. <laughs> I just didn't want to. <laughs> You're like. Screw Whitney Houston. I was like, why screw Whitney Houston? I never Houston? said like, that. You know why. I don't think I and, said know, that. And I was like, dude, why would you do that to like Whitney Houston, one of the greatest singers of all time? And you're like, no. don't talk about my mama. I, like, I don't know. I didn't say that. Who else in this all movie? All right. And also in this movie is Alia Shotcat. Back at the American model home, none of the invitees had shown up for Maybe's party. Surprise. Yeah, that's what I figured. So, did you send one of these to everyone in my address book? Yeah, I'm really sorry they didn't come. I don't know what happened. I do. They found out I was 16. 
and a lot of us just didn't want to drive down to Orange County. What are you talking about? It just cost me my job, George Michael. I was a studio executive. I made movies. Well, is that why you've been so stressed out all the time? Have I been? You know what? I'm a kid. I'm going to start acting like one. What, you're going to drink? Do you want to join me? Well, I guess if, if you can run a studio. But they didn't know it was the fake wine from Job's magic show. Yeah, from Arrested Development. From Arrest Development. Yep. All your fault, buddy. No, it's no. all your fault. <laughs> I can't believe she lost her job. Yeah, I know. Can't believe she lost her job. All right, and also in this movie, the one, the only, one of the greatest actors in the history of mankind from one of my favorite movies of all time, the whole reason I have a microphone in front of my I, I think face. The, I think it's half the reason I do, too. I do. Yeah, the one and only Christian Slater. I don't know. Drugs are out. Sex is out. Politics are out. Everything is on hold. I mean, we definitely need something new. I just keep waiting for some new voice to come out of somewhere. And just say, hey, wait a second, what is wrong with this picture? Just take a look around. Well, maybe this is the answer to everything. Wouldn't that be nice, huh? Dear heart, Harry, do you think I should kill myself? Great. Signed, I'm serious. Pump of the volume. Hell yeah. Pump up the volume. I think it was that uh, Howard Stern. We'll talk Man radio. Cal. We'll talk talk um, radio. What? Do we, do we do we talk radio? Oh yeah, I guess I do remember that. news radio is the one I remember. The TV show yeah. with like uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. with plus Jer- Frazier. Frazier's a big influence uh-huh. on everybody. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> but Chris, tell everybody where they can find us. Just on the line. <laughs> And we're on suck.net. We're at Facebook at facebook.com slash news on suck podcast. We're on Instagram at DS podcast. We're on X and DS podcast. We have Patreon, patreon.com slash news on suck. Uh, we're w2mnet.com. Zig number two, and we're zoom is net.com. You'll find us there. We'll watch a bunch of other really cool podcasts. Uh, if you guys want, uh, if you guys want merch, go to uh, T Public, uh, Neil, uh, no, sorry, at Blackwood Dash Productions. You'll find uh, our shirts there along with a bunch of Neil made. Or go to Bonfire Conference and she's on second to do. You'll find uh, uh, our shit there too. Also, uh, we're on YouTube at Movies Don't Suck Podcast. And you can find podcasts on Movies Don't Suck Something to Do. Uh, wink, subscribe, all that shit that you do. So, uh, and tell your friends, all that stuff. Neil, who are we talking about today? Who's, a, who's, our, who's our buddy? You're, 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 you're muted. You're muted. You're not? No, you're muted. No, no, I told you you were muted. <laughs> <laughs> I was muted. I, sorry. Uh, I didn't want to cough for your near, man. Yeah, I, okay. uh, anyway, uh, so today uh, I've been in a music thing all week long because yeah. I went to the wonderful place called Rock, Oklahoma this past weekend oh. <laughs> where I got to see like bands like Mastodon and yeah. Hailstorm and yeah. Evanescence and stuff. So we'll talk about a music place. And I think you know this music place. It is the one and only Miles Record Company. Mills now, Record. Miles Re- <laughs> Mills Re- That's why I said Miles. No, I don't know not. why I said Miles. I know it's Mills. I don't know why I just said Miles. That is so weird. I know it's Mills because I used to go to it all the time, too, when I lived in Kansas City. Uh, yeah, it's, the best it's located on 4045 Broadway Boulevard um, in Kansas City, Missouri, right next to the Westport. It's in the Westport section. Mm-hmm. Right there. It's a good picture of it. They are one of the best. Uh, record stores. In fact, um, let's see here what they have to say in their own words. If I, I had it up, I hate when I had stuff up Sorry, and dude. it's not there in there. Yeah. Anyway, Mills Record Company is a record store specializing in new and used vinyl in Kansas City, Missouri, in the Westport neighborhood. They buy and sell. They they buy, sell, and trade vinyl record CDs and cassettes. Basically, if it's in print, they and if they don't have it. They can get it. Mm-hmm. Mills uh, Records Company hosts in stores and on a hosts in stores on a weekly basis. Ah, I can't speak English today. Okay. Uh, boop, 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 boop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. 
Mills Record Company hosts in-stores on a weekly basis. They love local music and support the Kansas City music scene, as well as surrounding Missouri and Kansas local musicians. Their record store prides itself on accepting any questions or music preference with zero judgment. Come come try them today. Now, we've been there, oh, and it's one story. of the biggest select. It's one of the biggest selections there's, there. There's uh, Judy. Judy. Yep, yep. Yeah, who runs the place. And then we got, of course, they got their lovely mascot. Oh, there he is. Conway. Um, Conway. Conway. And bands play there. I've been there when bands are playing mm-hmm. on Record Store Day. Uh, Chris, have you been there when they were playing on Record Store Day? We, I think we, you have, too. We went today. We went to the, the water. The casket water, you think? Yeah. Went there on Record Store Day. Nice, nice. Uh, Conway is actually one of their DJs, too. There's a picture <laughs> of him DJing. That is not uh, made up artwork. That is him playing. But Mills uh, Record Company is one. It is a great place to go to. Uh, if you if you can't make it to their place and you want to just ask them a question, uh, you can literally go to their website or go to Facebook at uh, Mills. It's Mills Record Company. It's facebook.com forward slash Mills Record Company. Their uh, website is millsrecordcompany.com. Go to them. Ask them. They are the professionals and everything everything music of all time. If they don't have it, they will find it for you. Definitely. If you need something, go get it, get it from Mills record company. And uh, yeah, they're good people. Never had a problem there. Every time I went there, everything was great. I got everything I've ever needed. So please go help our friends out at Mills record company. Yeah, they're great. That's my favorite place. A very great company you can see probably in the, you know, probably I've ever been to ever um, in the world, Chris. It's it's the in the world. There's no other record store companies anywhere. That is the only one ever. Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, you know what, dude? I think I think we can actually slip into movies. Yes, let's start it. The first movie, Arcadian. Arcadian, uh, directed. Fuck, I had this information up and then I lost it. Uh, directed by. See, it happened to you too today. Yeah. It's it's not just me. Directed by Benjamin Brewer. You guys know about Benjamin Brewer from directing other things such as... Uh, actually, this is going to say he's the only thing he's done. Yeah, good for him. Uh, uh, written by Mike Nyland. This stars Nicolas Cage as Paul. This is the worst suicide attempt I've ever seen. Jaden Martell as Joseph. Mom. Um, mm. That woman today at the grocery store, you didn't do anything to help her. Also, see Silverall as Charlotte. Hey, Mr. Sterling. I- um, and, uh, and Maxwell Jenkins as Thomas. He's my friend. This also stars Samantha Kellen as Mrs. Or Mrs. Rose, Joe Dixon as Mr. Rose, Joel Gilman as Hobson, and Darren McMahon. As a militant farmer, <laughs> you know, let's go ahead and read the storyline for Arcadian. In a near future, life on Earth has been decimated. Paul and his teenage twin sons, Thomas and Joseph, have been living in a half life tranquility by day and torment by night. When the sun sets, the fears ferocious creatures of the night awaken and consume all living souls in their path. One day when Thomas doesn't return home before sundown, Paul chooses to leave the safety of their fortified farm to find him before the creatures arrive. Just as he finds his boy, a nightmarish battle ensues and Paul is gravely wounded. Now the twins must devise a desperate plan for surviving the coming night and use everything their father has taught them to keep him alive. Can I tell you how good you did that, dude? That was that was impressive. I was very impressed by my own natural ability to do that without ever reading that two and a half paragraph description of a movie uh, <laughs> that gave away more than I would have gave away. But <laughs> hey, <laughs> I guess I guess we're really into spoilers these days. You know, I mean. People, you know, half the time people watch trailers now and they're just like, okay, why do I need to see the movie? I just saw it in two minutes. Yeah, that's important. So, yeah, that's the movie, guys. We'll see you guys later. Um, no, um, what did you think about Arcadia, man? Um, Mickey, Mickey, boom, boom, check it, check it, woo, woo. Um, it was a movie. 
with Nicolas Cage in it. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I went into this very blind. You just told me what the movie was, and I didn't. I didn't see anything. I didn't see no trailer. I didn't see no uh, anything. I went in this very blind. And uh, so me and my wife were sitting here watching. And it's like okay. So it's like a post-apocalyptic movie. Got it. Then when going through it, I was like, okay, is this one of them where we don't see the creature until like, the end? And then like like just now, like you can hear the creature in the background if you guys just listen hard enough. Did you hear him? I did. Yeah, anyway. I, I <laughs> it's okay, buddy. It's You live in a house. We all live in houses. We don't live in professional studios, guys. Anyway. <laughs> so anyway, um, the... Creatures, I thought we weren't going to see, we're going to see just like one of them at the end or something. But then all of a sudden it turned into like, it went from being signs to being uh, like a quiet place really quick. Yeah, yeah. You got to see the creatures though. I mean, I want to say that you get to see them pretty early on. I mean, the creatures, and they're pretty ugly looking. Do you know, did you see the storyboard that these guys are based off of? No. Here you go. Oh, okay. This is this is what they're based off. They're based off of Goofy. Oh, interesting. They're they're that's their characters boost off of Goofy. So, uh, for people that can't see it because you're just listening to the podcast, literally, it's they're called a water bear, like it with the praying mantis is what it says on their storyboards. So it is like so. Here's your end production on that. Yeah, that's yeah. what it looks like. All when it all comes to it. Like this, this one's the more goofy looking character there. If you look at that yeah, one, yeah, yeah. but yeah, it, it was just, that's what those characters are based off of. And, and they're really weird. Cause like you're, cause you don't know what they look like and they do it really fast. Like, uh, when they first appear, the, the creatures. So you're just kind of like, what did I just see? Yeah, yeah. You know? And I, and I kind of like that. I kind of like the fact that you didn't really know what you saw yeah, until, it- the ending came. It's also more of like a like a family drama at points too. You know, like 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 it. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the, both the acting and it was all the acting was fantastic. Honestly, like like the, the the brothers and I mean Nick and of course Sadie Silverall. Like all everyone together. It's it's a it's a good little movie. It's a little movie though. Yeah, I mean the special effects were a little basement, but you know <laughs> um, that was going to be. That was going to be understandable because yeah. it didn't have a high budget. It was just some people making a movie. Yeah. Um, it's like they and they did everything in like three settings, like or you know three settings. It was either the farmhouse, the cave, or the other property. I mm-hmm. can't remember the other property. Rose's, it was Rose's called Martin's farm. farm or something. Rose's farm. Yeah, yeah, whatever that mm-hmm. farm was called, and. So I like that. I like the, you know, the spookiness of it. I love at the beginning mm-hmm. the whole aura of the, like, we don't know what the creatures look like. They're coming after you. You know, everybody's going to die. Also, maybe. that, that scene at the beginning where you sort of feel like where they kind of explain why the world is the way it is, you know, uh, that part's really interesting to me. I, I would just like to spend more time there sort of understanding what happened there. But yeah, like, it's post apocalyptic. People are, don't really have, like, you know, like, electricity or anything like that you expect uh but it's sort of like it's like what happens yeah after, and what have to add that what happens yeah. after the end of the world you know sort of yeah and and the thing is i i, I like the fact that they don't really give you too much information mm-hmm. they're like they like you don't know if these creatures were something that came from the you know from the middle of the earth or if they're alien creatures like each person had their own theory of where these things came from and that's not the point you know that's not the point. Just, yeah. yeah, that was the point. The point was everybody's dying and there's creatures that's killing them. Yeah, right. And they don't know how to kill the creatures. But <laughs> it's one thing uh, I never, but the one thing about this movie to me is like, I don't think these creatures would have survived. Because I think as soon as uh, we, as somebody would have figured it out, like as soon as somebody was like, hey, this is how you kill these bastards. I think um, we have enough guns and blow up power <laughs> that I think they like nuke the center of where these things were. Oh, like the nest or whatever. Kill them all in one, like, <laughs> yeah, they would kill them in one fair swoop. But that's just my belief, you know. 
But, um, yeah, this is a fun little movie. Um, I'm guessing this is not going to win any awards for special effects. It's not going to be on any award movie show, but it's, this is definitely one of those that, uh, especially since it's the spooky seasons coming up, yeah. this is one of those you can throw on, has some good jump scares in it, has the monsters are really creepy looking, um, and, you know, Kev, and Nicolas Cage is creepy looking in anything he ever does. So... Uh, this was nominated to South by Southwest for a Spotlight Award. Near the Spotlight Award. So, yeah. Um, yeah. And and to be honest, uh, you know, for first time director, because the guy is was just is just a rector. Uh, he's Nicholas Cage's agent, manager, and a producing partner. He's never directed before, if I remember correctly, right? Yeah, I'm actually looking this up right now. So, uh. No, he's actually done ten things. I'm sorry, they're all shorts though. Um, but um, uh, yeah, they're all short. So yeah, he yeah. hasn't done a full length film. And yeah. I mean, even though this full length film is only an hour and thirty what thirty one minutes or mm-hmm. something like that, thirty two minutes. I mean, that's really cool. It's a good movie, so it's it's worth every minute of it. Yeah, and so part of the reason I also chose this because this was supposed to be shown. You, this was supposed to be shown at um at uh, at Fan Fest, but they pulled the last moment. Like so, why? I I don't know. There is no really explanation why. But why we, did they? Why did they pull it? What did you do, bro? I don't know. I didn't do anything. But but it was on the like when the first announcement fest last year. It was like this is being shown. I'm like okay, that's the movie that everyone's been coming for. It wasn't. But but Eric King did I finally did get to see it, and it's on Shutter. So guys, uh, if you guys like a good little tight little um, uh, th- horror thriller type movie with the little family tension. Arcadian, you can't get all the Arcadian. It's also, it's also like, like Neil said, it's only an hour and a half. It's ninety minutes. So, you know, a lot of movies they they're just they go on for yeah, fucking ever. This is a great <laughs> popcorn movie. Yeah, this is a great popcorn movie. Turn it on. Have some, you know, if you're like looking for a short instead of like a three hour horror movie, <laughs> this is a good like hour and a half. You know, your buddies are over and they're like, hey, let's throw a little spooky. And you don't have you don't need to have everybody over for five and a half hours to watch a movie. Yeah, like this is literally nice. It's easy. You get your jump scares. You get some questions like you know, uh, because of how much you don't see. Like even me and my wife were sitting there playing the game. Uh, wh- what is it? What's the creature? Yeah, yeah. Is it a werewolf? Is it vampires? <laughs> is it like you know? Yeah. You know what? What's the creature? What is it? Yeah, what and is so it? So we were playing that game. Yeah, we were playing that game for, like, the first half of the movie because they don't really show you the creatures or give you any information like that. They give you information, but it's a good game to have fun, a good movie to have fun. To. So, Chris, uh, what's, what's your uh, rating on this out of 1 to 5? 3.7, 3.8. It's just fine. It's good. You know? Whatever. Yeah, uh, I, I'm going to have to go th- uh, 3.8. I'll give it a 3.8 because I think the two kid actors – uh, playing off each other did really well. I mean, both of them have been already in very popular movies. Mm-hmm. So, like, they played really well. And it's very understandable that it was, they used Nicolas Cage's name to mm-hmm. get you to come see the movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it worked very much. It worked very much. And he played a very good part in this. He didn't, oh, he didn't Nicolas, Nicolas Cage it up. You know, he didn't no, he was actually really, he, he was actually pretty uh, level-headed this whole movie. You know, mm-hmm. and I don't know if he's on a different kind of Xanax or you know <laughs> what's going on in his life, but um, yeah, it was very much uh, like, hey, everything's cool, everything's great. All right, you. Uh, I'm gonna write to com now. What is the audience score for Arcadia? Man, um. Sixty-one percent, fifty-six percent. Damn, I was yeah. off only by five, though. Uh, yeah, audience. What is the what is the critic score for Arcadian? I don't know. Do you guys like home? Uh, seventy-one percent. They went uh, higher. Certified fish is seventy-seven percent. Yeah. Uh, Damn, yeah. I was close <laughs> again. <laughs> Christian says this is led by a trio of strong performances. Arcadian blends family drama and post-apocalyptic horror. The visceral, emotionally stirring effect. I'm going to read a really good review. Here's uh, from Hannah Flint of Time Out. Uh, she says, 
For a low-budget film, the effects work is minimal but effective. Are you kidding? Keeps the alien's origin intentionally ambiguous and is all the more spine-tingling for it. And this is a not-so-good review, Kevin Moore. Other times you can says, Stop shaking the camera. Uh, so it does not imply excitement or attention. Beautiful score, though. Top marks for composers Kristen Gundren and Josh Martin. Uh, why is he such a... I'm going to end on a good note and give uh, this one right here. This is uh, from Maria Attila Film Story. She says, Arcadia is a perfectly fine post-apocalyptic thriller. <laughs> so, um, all right, here we go. That's uh, that's uh, that's uh, Arcadia. You guys, uh, you're going to shudder. Uh, if you don't have Shutter, I think you can easily add it using your Amazon thing. I just have the the app for Shutter because I like it. But. Yeah, and, and to be honest, I think you can get like a free week of it or something like that yeah, if yeah. you sign up. I think so. Anywhere yeah. at that, and it, it's it's a good little app. I mean, if you like horror movies and you like spooky thrillers and stuff like that, they have everything Ghost Adventures on it. I know that. Oh, yeah. So I know there's a few things on there that's Neil, really cool. Neil, Neil, and anything Elvira ever did. Yeah, me and me and Neil, we like Shutter a lot. You know. Yeah, I watch it. Yeah. I watch it all the time. Yeah. I've been watching the Puppet Masters recently. They have the, all the Nightmare on Hill Streets on there now, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what, yeah. Real quick question. What do you think of New Nightmare? What do you think of that one? Huh? New Nightmare. Wes Craven's New Nightmare. Wes Craven's New Nightmare? Yeah. I thought it was a very awesome way to tell the story <laughs> okay. in a different perspective. <laughs> okay. Like, it's like, it's like, uh, it's like the Joker. To okay, me, no. like you know, yeah, it, it's it's a great telling of the story, but that's not the way I pictured that character. But I like the way that they brought it, tried to bring it to the real world. And I think also that you sort of, you, since it's Wes Craven, you're like, he gets a pass, he made it, <laughs> you know, like like, yeah. yeah. Oh man, it's a different version of the thing that he created. <laughs> yeah. It's like any one of the Chrome comic books, man. It's like, oh, am I supposed to be upset that he made a different crow? I mean, it's what he created. It's his, nah, yeah. anyway. You good for news? You for news? Yeah, let's do it. This is the Movies Don't Suck and Something New. So I'm going to read a bunch of stuff to Chris because he just likes hearing my voice and nightly, just like a smooth dream machine. All right, I'm here. Let's do this. All right. First things first, Mr. Michael Keaton is searching to change his name. Yes, yeah, so that's right. Actor Michael Keaton is trying to change his name so his name can be his real name instead of Michael Keaton, his acting name. Oh, it's Beatles you said that. No. <laughs> Michael Keaton's real name is Michael Douglas. Why, why did he change the key? Okay, I mean... Because there's already a Michael Douglas oh, is. in so, the Screen Actors Guild. Oh, okay. So he wants to change. So, he wants to do. Yeah. His, so, um, he's like, I've been looking to change my name back to Michael Douglas because there's another famous Michael Douglas, uh, you know, from Basic Instinct and Wall Street fame, Michael Douglas, and he's going to change it to Michael Keaton Douglas, so then that he can have his name. So then he can have his name there as his normal name. But isn't he like 70? Hey. <laughs> 70 right. is not too old to live a dream, bro. That's true. That's true. You're right. You're wrong. Talking about 70-year-olds that are living a dream. Uh, right now, Denzel Washington is the number one contender for People's Covenant Sexiest man of the year. Really? Okay. Sexiest married man. Oh, of okay. The year. Right. There we go. Yeah. Okay. That's... I mean, I mean, if you can be eighty-five and be in Congress, I guess you can be eighty-five and win the sexiest man of the he's, award, right? He's sixty-nine years old. That Denzel. Oh, then that's the perfect time for yeah. an award for being sexy. Yes, yeah. be 69 and win an award for being sexy. That'd be yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so this whole time, uh, Marvel finally has now told us what the name of the Spider-Man trilogy set is. It is the Home Trilogy. So what's the next one we called then? You know, like, will be the, will be the, 
the vacation. I have no idea, but right now this one is, yeah, that's, I don't, I don't know. Okay. Do you know? No, I don't. Okay. They didn't tell us that. They're just telling us that the trilogy for this Spider-Man series is now going to be called the the Home Trilogy. That's all we get. Well, I guess Home is in all three movies, right? Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, that means all three. I mean, because there's there's uh, Homecoming, No Way Home, and Far From Home. Yeah. Okay. So it's the Home Trilogy. Okay. Uh, people are not in love with the new uh, Minecraft trailer. <laughs> yeah. uh, looks like shortly after the first mo- tra- teaser trailer for Minecraft movie was released, fans started sharing the reaction. The reactions ranged from mocking the movie's Awkward animation style, Momoa uh, mocking Momoa and Jack, uh, Jack Black's characters, and comparing it to recent Borderlands movie. Oh no! <laughs> um, there's so many nasty, nasty, nasty tweets. I will not say. I uh, like one guy's like this isn't Steve, who everybody thought they were getting. This is just Jack Black with a different name. Um, <laughs> there's so many bad ones; it's ridiculous. But nobody is liking this. Uh, they're like, "It's Minecraft the sheep." Oh, wait a minute! No, this is Sonic the Hedgehog all over again. Um, yeah. So we don't know what's going to happen there. Hopefully they get their act together because uh, nobody is happy about it. I can see, man. I, and I can't wait because we're... Did you ever play Minecraft? Were you a guy that played Minecraft? I tried several times. Yeah. I tried several times to play Minecraft I didn't get the to get into it. it. But if I want to design and build things, I'll just go... I, there's a bunch of different games yeah. I can go play besides yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I never played Minecraft, either, but, but I, I tried to, and I was and like, this isn't for me, you know? Yeah. Are we off uh, timing again? I think so. I think so. Yep, yeah, we are, because it took you that long to answer. I'll be right back. Boom, yeah. five, four. And you'll be back, guys. You just had a little bit of uh, off timing. So if it's a little bit off kilter today, that's why. Um, but he'll be back, and we'll be back, uh, back soon. He's on news for me. Wherever he may go. One. One. Two. Three. The four. All right, cool. All right. Um, I know what you did last summer. The reboot has already lost a member of its staff. Oh, Camila Mendez is now fall, is now going to be coming out of that. It's just as time schedules to other movies that she wants to work in is the reasoning. So they're losing someone already. Who knows if that means something's bad. It's behind the scenes, we don't know. We're, I'm just reading what I know. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, I all know. right. Good. Yeah. I, who knows? You know, I mean, the a lot of movies are having problems this coming years. Yeah. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people are now like a lot of movies have been having a lot of issues all the way up to shooting day. Mm-hmm. So, who knows? Who knows? Uh, Tom Hardy and Aaron Taylor Johnson has joined together with a James Bond director to adapt a popular crime thriller. A movie adaption of Blood on Snow has major stars attached to it. The project was based on the 2015 crime novel of the same name by Norwegian author Joe Nespo, uh, which was the first installment of the Olivia Johnson series. Um, it's set in the 1970s, follows a turf war between two major gangs. So, I mean, so, director for No Time to Die is going to be the Carrie Joe Fontana. Okay, uh, so uh, I want to mention this is Tom Hardy and Derek Taylor Johnson. They could name this movie something else. They could call it Two Sexy Motherfuckers. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're in a lot of films right now. And I feel like they're going to just be everywhere. Yeah. I'm excited for it. Man, Chris, what did you say to everybody? Like, it seems like uh, when I came back, we lost half of our audience. I don't know. Did you piss everybody off? Yeah, I was going? Yeah, I, I just what my, did you do? Did you I, did you pee on their grace? I, I, I showed my wiener, and they 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 ran. You showed? Gosh, dang it, Chris! <laughs> stop showing your wiener online. It's weird. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, all right, so. 
And the live action He Man series, the good the movie coming out and in, uh, in 2026, uh, they have cast Evil Lynn. Evil Lynn is Skeletor's right hand woman or man or mm-hmm. you know his top henchman, yeah, yeah. Top, top top hench person. They have t- casted her, and she is going to be played by none other. This is what now you know. This movie's starting to get good. Uh-huh. Starting getting it's starting to fill it up. When Allison Brie ooh, is now ooh, attached to ooh, it, ooh. now we got it. Now we got it going. Now, now we're like, woo woo. If Glenn Powell gets on this thing, man, you know that's the end. Of it. Like <laughs> yeah, everybody's gonna it's see done. It. Yeah, yeah. It's done. It's done. Uh, Jason Momoa and Dave Bautista uh, are going to be a new action movie. Um, the Wrecking Crew, which we've already talked about, they have just added a uh, Marina Baccarin from the Deadpool series. Mm. Um, she is now going to be joining cool. the movie as well. So they're getting a lot of names in this movie. So that seems like another yeah. movie that's going to be like you can't miss it. Yeah, if you stacks. don't, miss, if you miss it, you're going to die. It's stacked, yeah. Chris dies a lot when mm-hmm. he misses movies, I and it sucks. Yeah. Every time he goes, why? Why am I dying? And I'm like, I don't know, Chris. He has, he has why are you dying? I ask all the time. He just says, because it's just your time. <laughs> so. It's just your time. Yeah. Uh, Tom Hardy's um, thriller or crime movie or crime thriller, The Bike Riders, uh, has been the most viewed movie since it came out. Oh, interesting. Okay. Wow. I didn't really expect that, but okay. Yeah, like it. Yeah, like it is. It bombed at the box office, but it is the number one. Uh, the, the streaming charts this week is the Bike Riders, uh, for uh, Ferrosa, uh, Ferrosa, My, Mad Max. The Union is the number three most watched movie in the last two weeks. Quiet Place Day One's number as number four. Jack. Hot Horizon American Saga is number five. Like uh, the Instigators, the Killer, Alien, and and Incoming are the most watched movies in the last of the last. We week. talked about all those movies. I think all. Of- no, no, we haven't. You didn't. You didn't want to do Union. You didn't want to do Quiet Place. You didn't want to do the Killer. These are all movies I've told you to watch, and you're like, no, I hate half of them. <laughs> I didn't see that. <laughs> Yeah, you still mad? You did too. I remember. I, I know you still mad. You, you still mad? You had a quiet place. It's just a um, quiet place for Back to Black. That's more. okay. There's going to be one episode next month that we're just going to do every movie I want to do. We're going to okay. do like five movies that's to right, catch up fair. with every movie because the mo- there's two of those movies that are going to be they're going to be nominated. They're going to be nominated for stuff, <laughs> and we haven't seen them. Right. Um. I think we're off timing and everybody left really quick. So I'm going to do it one more time. Okay. Sorry guys. I don't know what's going on. You know, when you look at home and that's what shit happens. It's just, it's just, you know, far behind the rest of the country when it comes to policy and oh, Your yeah. mom's a policy. <laughs> right. uh, one, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, and we're still kind of second off, but whatever. We'll just go with it. Um, ben Stiller explains his act. He is returned to acting. He's going to be acting in a movie for the first time in seven years. Did you realize Ben Stiller hasn't been acting for seven years, bro? That's crazy. That's a long time. He goes, I never thought I'd take much of this time away from acting. It wasn't intentional. It was just how things evolve. This movie happened in a zone uh, in a zone where it was literally the only time I could have made it a few months later, and I couldn't have done it. So he's going to be doing that, and plus he's also going to be returning to the Adam Sandler series because he's coming back as a crazy nurse or whatever. The orderly, yeah, yeah, and I have from Happy Gilmore. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can get you for a glass. Shut the hell up. Now you go to sleep. I'll put you to sleep. Your mom would like grandma. Yeah, that one. Yeah. All right. Uh, the movie Afraid uh, just really just opened this past weekend with the worst opening of Blumhouse's entire 
industry career. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, whoa. <laughs> um, yeah. Sorry, Blue House. They have not even come close. They opened up with uh, their three day domestic was three point seven million dollars. The crow did better, didn't it? Yes, it did. <laughs> By one point one point three million. Okay. Did better. <laughs> Uh, it's the worst debut for a movie that opened in more than 2,000 theaters since Jim and the Holograms in 2015. How bad, barely even ever, uh, a movie? I don't even fucking remember. Jim and the How bad of a movie is it? Is it a bad movie? I don't know. I don't, I don't remember. It. Did you see it? I think it's. Did worse. you see it? No. Did you see Jim and the Holograms? No. Okay. I didn't see uh, Afraid either. I saw different movies. So. Uh, all right, let's move on to some happy stuff. All right, let's do it. Uh, Anna Taylor-Joy Taylor Joy says that she is up for playing Elsa in any Disney live action of the Frozen, if they go to do that soon, which, you know, they're doing live actions of every single Disney movie that yeah. ever existed, so. You know, live action will on already. Why? We don't need that. Yeah. I don't know. He's old. He's really old. But he's returning, guys. That's right. The one and only Ian McKellen has confirmed he is returning as the great Gandalf the Grey to the Lord of the Rings, the Hunt for Gollum series. What? <laughs> okay. He's so old, though. The Hunt for, Go the Hunt for Gollum movie series that's going to be coming up is going to be the Hunt for Gollum. It's a story... Um, it's been, it'll be, it'll be the search for Gollum. I believe it's the search for Gollum during when he has the ring. Okay. Before, before, um, okay. Before everything that happens in the Lord of the Rings, you know, uh, yeah. Fellowship and yeah, 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 Return yeah. of the King. I, my, my brain just went blank all of a sudden. <laughs> Two Towers, Return of the King, all that stuff, blah, blah, blah. Um, the actor that plays Art the Clown, David H Howard Thornton, uh, would love to play uh, Art the Clown in anything, everywhere, all, all the time, and doesn't want the character ever to die. So unlike <laughs> other people who kind of was like, well, I want to go follow my real acting career, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> this guy's like, no, I want to play this character as many, I will play him 105 times all the time if you just let me. If you let me. Well, I will let him play. Well, we're all excited for Terrifier three. I think that comes out in like like next month or something, right? Everybody is a, everybody wants to see Terrifier three, four, five, six, yeah. seven, eight, nine, yeah. ten, eleven. All of them. They want to watch them all, right? Uh huh. And the, the, I can watch them once a, a couple. Of, I mean, it's still it's a hard, it's a hard it's a pretty fucking brutal films so for Terrifier. It's going to be insane. Yeah. Um, all right. So then let's see. The last few couple of stories. Um, April, a Abraham Lincoln's alleged bisexuality is going to be explored in a new documentary. Lover of Men, the untold history of Abraham Lincoln explores the relationship of former President Lincoln with the men in his life because he dated men. <laughs> The way you said that was just a little awkward, but okay. Good good, good for uh, that, I guess. It's not awkward. I'm just trying to make it very clear to everybody that this has been a thing going on for decades and hundreds and hundreds of years. Reconcile that, Republicans. Public. <laughs> yeah. That's a Republican guy right there. Um, Liam Neeson uh, is eyed to lead the new heist movie with a young cast. Liam Neeson is being eyed to join the cast of the heist movie Four Kids Walk Into a Bank. Uh, it is by, it is based off the graphic novel by uh, Matthew Rosenberg and Tyler Boss. Um, so I believe the reason I was reading this, um, oh yeah, here it is. The young ensemble uh, cast so far is Noah Jupe, Whitney Peake, Jack Dylan Grazer, and Deacon Philippe are the four people that will star in the movie so far. So that's cool and mm -hmm. awesome. And, uh, you know, you're all fan uh, for any uh, films being adapted from graphic novels. You're all about that. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Mm -hmm. And... 
Next on the biopic board, Steve Harvey is getting his own biopic <laughs> about his life. Who gives a shit? Is it being, it's being made. It's called Title 72. What, what do you mean gives shit? He's like, he's iconic, dude. He's a stand-up comedian. He's part of the kings of comedy. He literally has saved, like, so many people with his outgoing charities. What the heck, dude? He's also, he also hates gay people and atheists. So that's cool. No. Yes, absolutely. He never said that. Yes, he did. He's never said yeah, that. Yes. But, but yes, right. he is definitely going to biopic made of him. Okay, cool. And last but not least, everybody, if you're really sad about the new Crow movie not being exactly what you thought it'd live up to. Neil, you're one of those people. The streaming service... Pluto mm -hmm. is going to be playing the crow for free for everybody in the month of September to make up for how bad the crow movie was. So, the original so crow. if you want to watch the original crow, just go to, just go to the Pluto app on whatever service you have or whatever Pluto, Pluto TV is free. Um, and you can watch the, the original crow all season long. Make your feel a little better. Uh, you know, Blast an amazing soundtrack. But uh are you, is that good with news? Are you you good to get out of here from news? That's it, buddy. We're done. That was the movies don't suck and some the news. I read a bunch of stuff to Chris because he's blind in one eye because a peacock tried to bite it out. I mean that could be it. Sorry, I did sorry. I cut the music early. Um but let's talk about uh Are you what, okay, man? Are you dying? Hey, uh, hold on. Blinking Twice, can you see that? We're talking about that next. Uh, Blink Twice, directed by... Uh, this is Zoe Kravitz's director or debut. Uh, you guys know Zoe Kravitz. She's fucking Catwoman. She's uh, she's also the, you know, angel. She's... So, but but um, she's also the... You know, she was she was uh, the daughter of two of the most beautiful people in the world. Uh, she, she, Zoe uh, Blink Kravitz and... Um, what's... what's, what's, what's What's the god damn it? I can't speak, dude. That shit went crazy on me. Are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I, I've I've been having a weird shit. Um, but yeah. Here, here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Okay, yeah. There sorry. you go. Lisa Bonet and uh, and uh, Zoe Kravitz and Lily Kravitz made this beautiful person. And this is for the debut. She's not in it. She's directed it. It's win twice. This stars Naomi Aki as the main character, Frida. No damn time. No, I'm not cleaning this shit up. Uh uh. Also, Channing Tatum, so fucking sexy in this movie, plays Slater. Oh, no, not if you're in the house. Um, also, Olivia Shockwatt plays Jess. Back at the American model home. Uh, Back oh, at the sorry. American model home, none of the invitees had shown up for Maybe's party. Surprise! Yeah, that's what I figured. Um, Christian Slater in this. Uh, Long Miss, he plays Vic. I don't know. Also, this says Simon Rex plays Cody. Adria Arona plays Sarah. Haley Joel Osment's in this. It's Tom. Haley Joel Osment. I see dead people. Um, Lisa, Lisa Gabriel plays Camila. Levin Hawk plays Lucas. True Mullen plays Heather. And Gina Davis is in this as Stacy. And I want to mention this is not that important to Saul Williams. The great Saul Williams, a poet. Uh, he plays the MC in this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love Saul Williams. Uh, you know, let's go to the storyline for Blink Twice. When tech billionaire Slater King meets cocktail waitress Frida at his fundraising gala, sparks fly. He invites her to join him and his friends on a dream vacation on his private island. It's paradise. Wild nights blend into sun-soaked days, and everyone's having a great time. Nobody wants this trip to end, but as strange things start to happen, Frida begins to question her reality. Something is wrong with this place. She'll have to uncover the truth if she wants to make it out. Out of this party alive. What do you think? So this movie starts out pretty interestingly. It has a trigger warning at the very beginning of the movie. So you can figure out if you want to say. Um, I really like this movie. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's nothing better than... Um, there's nothing better than a bunch of people going to an island, partying up like it's 1999... And having a good time. Like, um, 
that's that this movie is just a fun party movie. It's kind of like, like super bad, but for billionaires. Uh I mean, yeah, if you want to go into that thinking of this, this movie is uh it it has a message for sure. Um Yeah, message is don't go chasing waterfalls. Stick to the rivers and the lakes, lakes that you're used to. Too. I yes. don't get away or nothing at all. But, but um, wink twice. Uh, this movie is. I like the style of it. Do you? The style of it. Yeah, I like the style of this movie. I like the uh, the cinematography of this movie is uh, epic. I mean, some of these scenes, like, dude, I've never seen somebody exhale like smoke <laughs> and look sexy at the same time like that. Oh, uh-huh. there we go. There you go. Yeah. Get some Chain Tatum. You know, yeah. uh, each person, like each design and frame looks like it was just like, oh, yeah, like, yeah, it was it was almost it was just a frame. I was going to say that the the framing of every shot's pretty much perfect. Yeah, like uh, th- this is behind the scenes, but still like it's just like they're just chilling, relaxing. That could be a frame of the movie and you wouldn't even know it. Yeah, uh, this one of the best frames right here. Yeah, you know, with the dick um, on his head, yeah. <laughs> but oh, that came out blurry. Uh, but, uh, yeah, this, this movie was fun. It, it was like the, it was a good time. Everybody was having a good time until everybody wasn't having a good time, and then nobody was having a good time. Yeah, and except it was you, really except you and I who were enjoying the movie. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, so it's like I love the fact that you don't know what's going on at first. And then you realize they don't know what's going on. And then you realize nobody really knows what's going on. And then you realize that you don't even know if any of this is real at all. And if this is all bullshit or just like, it just keeps on building to like, you don't know if it's real. You don't know if it's, everything's going on. If everything's just a thing in someone's mind or if anything went on at all and everybody's just brainwashed and that's what in somebody's mind. I mean, it's like, it just keeps unfolding layers after layers after layers. It's an onion. It's definitely an onion. It's an onion that you just don't know. It's like so many layers, and you think you got to the core, and you didn't get to the core. You just got to the beginning of another fucking onion, and that's the way it goes. It's a mystery thriller. Yeah, <laughs> that's the way it goes. And uh, acting in it's fantastic. I fucking loved I love Naomi. I loved Channing. I love Aaliyah. Christian Slater, I love to see him in this, honestly. I see it. It was pretty back in everything. Next is five movies. I want Christian Slater to be in them. So when, you know. I want Christian Slater to be in all my movies um, uh, that I film, but, you know, he won't because he says he doesn't want to do nudity all the time. And it's like, that's fine. Whatever, man. I see how it is. I want to see him nude. Uh, Also, Haley Josman. I mean, sure. He just looks like... It's hard to look at him now. It's not seen as as that kid, though. He just looks like a kid all the time. Me and Ari looks like the uncle. He looks like the uncle that uh, buy the nephew's beer. Yeah, yeah, he does, right? Or he's like, "Do you guys, do you guys have any rainy weed?" <laughs> that guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's like, "Hey, hey, man!" He's like, he's like that professor in the movie in- uh, Incoming. That, uh, you know, we saw last week. That's <laughs> oh, yeah. what it reminds me of. Just not near as funny or smart. <laughs> Just kind of like exactly. Yeah, but uh, I'd wink twice. Uh, this is in theaters. And I hope it sticks around because is this a movie that I think I think. To me, if this is Zoe Kravitz's first movie, I can't wait to see what she does next. I'd be super excited for that. Yeah, like, uh, there's only, there's, I think only, like, three people in the theater when I went to see it, but I saw it, like, 10 o'clock on a, I saw it yesterday at 10 o'clock. <laughs> you know, so, I mean, on a Wednesday. So, I mean, it's very, you know, but uh, it is a good movie. It's a good theater movie. It's one of those where you're like, oh, Oh, crap, I don't know what's going on. I don't think it was that long of a movie, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it's an hour and 42 minutes. Yeah. You know, you know, this is just another movie that was good. And it has you questioning at the end if you think you saw what you saw. And it's a good, it'd be a good conversation piece if you're around with a bunch of people. Oh, yeah, for watching. sure. Yeah, I saw it with uh, four of the people, and we sit around as a movie talking for a good five minutes about it. I mean, sort of. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I do that with every movie. When I go to people who form that circle outside. And then I remember one time when we finished up, uh, we got done watching Maxine and me and like five mm-hmm. other people are there with talking. And this guy who was going to the bathroom just inserted himself in our conversation. We're like, fuck. Cause like, you know, like you have the like, poor friends and someone shows up and you're like, this is awkward. Why? You, we, we, this is, 
<laughs> no, 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 no. It's never awkward when the cereal poopers join the conversation, man. The, the sometimes fuck? you just gotta let this. Sometimes you just gotta let the cereal poopers join the conversation. He, dude. he was there watching, like it, he walked into a theater, so he sat there for five minutes to talk to us, then walked back into his movie. It was, hey, man! <sighs> cereal poopers get to want to watch movies too. Wait, did I just read that this movie was originally called Pussy Island? You just now read that? Yeah. yeah. It was originally called Pussy Island, and uh, the MPAA women and theaters did not at uh, all were like, no, you gotta change that, dude. That's not what we're gonna call that's not what we're gonna call Pussy this. Island. <laughs> and Zoe Kravitz really wanted to go for it. I heard an interview where she was like she was like, No, I really wanted it to be called that. And I mean, I am I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go outside theaters and <laughs> hopefully they lose it in stores. As Pussy Island. And if you get a chance, like, if you guys like watching the short videos and stuff like that, uh, go watch some of these interviews that Zoe Kravitz, um, uh, Zoe Kravitz, Naomi, uh, Aki, and Ching Tatum, they did them all together. They did the the, the media run with them. Yeah. They did the hot ones. They did uh, the have... lie detectors. Yeah. They did all those. Uh, their chemistry all together is ridiculous. Like you want to hang out with them. Yeah. You want to be you want to be in that room just talking, shooting, gabbing. Like they look like they have the greatest relationship. Zoe and Shannon that they have I think they're they're engaged or something like that. Yeah, they're engaged. They're engaged to be married. Good for them. There's like that's one of the things about the lie detector thing. Like Zoe's like, you know how often it is that someone gets uh someone gets to have their fiance on the, the deck lie detector <laughs> test and he's like nope i'm done <laughs> right. it's really all right. funny all right guys um uh, what's your score on this Neil? uh one through five i'm definitely gonna give that i'm gonna get this uh i'm gonna give this a four i thought it was a really good movie mm -hmm. i thought um everybody in it did their did their do it uh, this is, you know, it's a great one because really it's one of those twist mm -hmm. kind of movies. It's, you get the twist, and, yeah. Uh, yeah, it has a good little twist. And if you're with somebody or you're watching this with a group of people, you don't know exactly if you could be like, this is the twist or that's the twist, you know? Yeah, it's, it's twisty. It's, it's It's got a twist. It's a... You don't know if the ending of the movie is the ending of the movie. You don't know if that's it or if that's like another twist. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I, I would just say, I, I would just dare say this is better than Shawn twist this year. I'd say it's better than that. Uh, you know what? I I would I would throw it up against it. Yeah. I would definitely throw it up against. This it. is In better fact, than trap. At the end of the year, this is, we will at the end of the year. This is better than trap guys. Just so you know, <laughs> I thought so at least. Uh, but um yeah uh yes uh, my score in this is a little bit higher just for four burn one so take that shot if you want to have that shot you right now he's coughing because he took too big of a hit of that of that of that what day. I don't know what you're talking about I wasn't coughing so uh, Neil I want to tell you we have a vapor in my place and it it it's a surprise if you get vapor or not so um like it's, it's fucked up that way so every like we haven't I've been like. Taking too big of the uh, drags off it, and then like, uh, uh, like it's just vapor. <laughs> but uh, all right, sorry guys. Um, anyway, um, Neil, I'm on RodSans.com. What is the audience score for Blink Twice? Blink Twice. I think the audience score. I think the audience is going to give us some good scoring. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go seventy-one percent, sixty-eight percent. No, I'm not. I'm not. That's three points off. That ain't far. I know, but they should have gone higher. Uh, Neil, what's the credit score for Blink Twice? Eighty-one percent, seventy-three percent. Still certified fresh, but barely. Damn. Critics just said seventy-one yeah. points. Critics consensus is a bold, memorable debut for the thrust that we have it into the turf of directors to watch Blink Twice is a live wire of a film. Okay, uh, let me pull this up real quick. I'm gonna review a bad, uh, not so good review, and a good review. This is from uh, Chase Hutchinson, The Inland. Here he says. Well, it's got bigger ideas and gestures towards the film feels destined to fade away as soon as it ends. No matter how many striking pictures it takes, Blink Twice won't last very long at all. Uh, I disagree. And this is from uh, Chauncey Red K. Robinson of Beatles World. She says, Blink Twice is a film with intense thrills, sharp social commentary, and biting dark humor that masterly plays on the protagonist's eyes and senses and biases. It's worth the sometimes a control watch. Uh, me and Neil really like this movie. 
We have to go see it in theaters, and I think it says stick around. I really do. Yeah. 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 So uh, next week, guys, uh, we yeah. are, we need to know, we're definitely talking Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, for sure. Yeah. Right? Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, you're excited yeah, for Yeah, and then there's like five other movies that are out right now that, yeah. you know, Neil, can, I'm there's gonna like ch- five movies. Neil, I, wanna, you, I, you I don't pick, know which one. You should pick, I don't know. I'll, should, I'll, I'll figure it out later. But but uh, Beetlejuice, don't Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice actually, uh, I saw Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice last night at an early access screening. So. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know what happened to you. I'm sorry. I don't know. I'm back. Oh, here he is again. Let's give it a shot. Okay. Chris, can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, that, that's fucked up that, like, at the end yeah, of the I show. I know, I know. At the end of the show. I know. We're, like, two seconds away from wrapping this. <laughs> all right. Uh, it's but all your fault. Next week, we'll do Beetlejuice, 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 and then we'll be doing what is something else. Uh, be, but uh, next Thursday, we'll be there. Uh, you guys can find us online. We're at Facebook.com. We're at Facebook.com. So that's me on some podcast. We're on WTMnet.com. So you know, uh, WTMnet.com. You find us there. We're on a bunch of the other really cool podcasts. We're also on uh, Patreon. Patreon costs us. You don't suck. Or an excellent podcast on Instagram. We do that. We do TikTok. We don't suck. Find us there. We put stuff up sometimes. Uh, we're also on uh, T Public. T, uh, we're in Blackwood Dash Productions. You'll find uh, our stuff there on all the stuff Neil's made. Uh, including a Daddy Likey shirt that someone had bought. Um, you can also find us at Bonfire Bonfire Home. Search news on Second Sunday. You'll find us there. And uh, we're on YouTube. At, wherever you find podcasts, you find movies on Suck and Sunday. Do Neil, what are we for small business? If you got a small business, let us know. Um, give us, send us an email message, whatever way you can get a hold of us. Uh, tattoo it on the back of Chris's back. Mm-hmm. Any way to give us the information, we'll be more than happy to promote you right here to our thousands of listeners and our millions of followers. All right. Uh, so, uh, you got here, dude? Yeah, let's get out of here. Oh, fuck. Hold on. <laughs> That's another episode of Moose and Seconds on My name's Neil. Not Chris. Remember, guys, no matter how hard it is in life, if you are really being creeped out, if you think she's stalking you and following you, just blink twice to let us know. Have a good day. (laughs) 